In this lab guide, you complete the initial setup task necessary to set up a server on which Windows Server 2022 has just been installed. In this lab, we are going to install VirtualBox Gas Addition tools, set up the computer's network configuration and make sure it can reach the internet and finally, we will change the computer's host name. Last press Ctrl Alt Delete key combination and enter the administrator password to sign in to newly installed Windows Server 2022. Let's enter the administrator account password and hit enter key. The system logons the administrator user account and the server manager console will appear. In the left side, click on local server. First, I'm going to change the time zone. You can see default time zone is there, UTC minus 8. Let me click on it. Let's click on change time zone. Click on the drop down arrow and select the time zone as per your location. In my case, it is going to be UTC plus 530. Click OK and click OK. Uh, let me change the VM network adapter type to NAT to allow the internet access on this VM. Right now, this virtual machine is not connected with internet. Uh, so let's click on Devices, Network, click on Network Settings. And then uh, from this drop down arrow, I'm going to select NAT. Okay, so it is going to use the internet uh, which is connected to your physical computer. Perfect. Let me click on yes. Now this virtual machine is connected with the internet using the internet connection from the host machine. As you can see, this VM is now connected with internet. Next, uh, I'm going to change the computer's host name and by default, as you can see, uh, the system given host name is there, a win and some random numbers and alphabets are there. So I'm going to click on it, uh, click on change. And here we need to enter the computer name which we want to set up. So here I'm going to give name server1. Uh, actually, let me give name uh, DC1 because we are going to install Active Directory Domain Services later on. Let's click OK. A message box appears prompting you to restart the computer. Click OK. Con close. Uh, it is asking us to restart the computer. Uh, we are going to restart the computer later on. We are not restarting the virtual machine right now as we also want to install virtual machine guest addition tools. For that, again, I'm going to click on devices and from this menu, I'm going to click on insert guest additions CD image. Let me minimize this. Let's open file explorer. Click on this PC and here we have the virtual box guest addition image. Let me double click on it. Let's select VBOX Windows Additions and double click on it. This will start the installation wizard to install VirtualBox Gas Addition tools. Click Next, Next again, Next again. Make sure you have selected this checkbox to always trust the software from Oracle Corporation. I'm going to click on Install. Okay, installation has been completed successfully. Uh, select the Reboot Now options and then click on a Finish button. Okay, let's again press Ctrl Alt Delete key combination to sign in to our Windows Server 2022. Let's enter the administrator password and press Enter key. As you can see, since the virtual machine is connected with the internet, and it has automatically activated this uh, server 2022 and the license is valid for 180 days. Uh, let me click on local server again 
and you can see the computer name is changed successfully to DC1. You can also confirm the date in a time zone as well. Okay. Now let me minimize it and we want to make sure that we can see once we install VirtualBox gas addition tools, the virtual drivers will install and after the restart, Windows Server 2022 will be available to run normally in a virtual network. But still we are not able to see the full screen. So let me click on view and let's select uh, adjust window size. Let's again click on view and select adjust window size again. No, let me full screen. Okay, fine. Now we can see the full screen of our newly installed Windows Server 2022. In the last step, we are also going to check for the Windows update. So before installing Active Directory Domain Services, we also want to install latest Windows updates on the server. So let's again click on uh, Server Manager. Okay, here you can see the last install updates never and this computer is connected with the internet. So I'm going to click on download updates only using a Windows update. Let's click on it, which is going to open Windows update. No updates available. Okay, uh, we're going to check for the updates right now. So I'm going to click on check for updates. So whatever updates are available on Microsoft website, those will be listed here. And after that, we can install it. As you can see, certain updates are available to install. And here we have a, a optional quality update as well. Now uh, we can see 2021-11 cumulative update for Microsoft Server Operating System version 21H2 for X64B's system. Uh, first, we will install these updates and then later on we will install and uh, we will download and install these updates as well. And as we can see, Still, the last update is being installed on our Windows Server 2022. So that's the end of this lab guide. See you all in the next lab guide. Keep watching and keep supporting us.